Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how to design this fighter jet airplane in the SOLIDWARE. So, let's get started. For the first step, let's go to the front view and right click and choose sketch. And choose circle and click on origin and create a circle. And our diameter will be 3.48 and confirm it. And now, is it a sketch? Now let's create a reference plane and our first reference will be front plane and put uh, dimensions of 100 inch and flip the directions and confirm it and right click on the plane too and uh, choose normal. Now let's create a reference line. And put the dimensions of 13.33 and confirm it. And one more time, choose reference line. Uh, click on here and click here. And one more time, uh, choose temporary dimension and put the dimension uh, right here. And our dimension will be uh, 48 and confirm it. Right click and select it. And now let's create a circle. Uh, put the center at the middle of this line. And click here and click right here. Okay, now let's, is it a sketch? And one more time, let's uh, create a reference plane. And our first reference will be this plane. And once again, uh, flip the direction, and our distance will be sixteen point two five, and confirm it. Okay, now let's uh, make a sketch on plane three. One more time, let's create a center line. Uh, click here. And now let's choose temporary dimension and put the dimensions of uh, 51.45 and confirm it. And one more time, let's draw a circle. Our center will be uh, at this point and click here and right click and select. Now, is it a sketch? And on this right way, you have to create this three-point supply sketch. And our three-point must have relationship with this three circle. I mean, let me show you it. Uh, the first point of this uh, supply is uh, have a PS relationship with this circle. And our second point of this curve has PS relationship with this second circle. And finally, our third point has a PS relationship with this third circle. You have to put all this relationship. Otherwise, you can create the surface we want. Now, let's exit the sketch. And once again, you have to create this three point supply curve and you have to put a relationship of this three point and this three circle, uh, just like the previous one. Okay, now let's uh, exit the sketch. Okay, now let's go to surface tab and choose a uh, lob surface. Okay, our first profile will be this circle, and the second profile will be this circle, and the third profile will be this circle. And let's choose this guide curve, and our first guide curve will be this one, and the second guide curve will be this one. Okay, now confirm it. Now let's create a reference plane. And our first reference plane will be uh, this plane, uh, plane number two. And let's put a uh, distance of 69.76 and confirm it. And on this new plane, create this 2D organic shape. I already put a dimension on it. You can use it if you want to. Uh, we have to create a lot of uh, these 2D organic shape. Now let's exit the sketch. Now let's create a reference plane and choose a plane. And our first reference will be uh, this new plane. And put the distance of 
67 point uh, let's put it uh, 9 uh, okay 59 I confirm it and again create this 2d sketch on this new plane I uh, use my dimension to create this 2d sketch and we need to put a relationship on this uh, put a relationship of this point of sketch and this point of sketch uh, with a coincident relationship now uh, let's sketch is it a sketch okay we need to create uh, one more reference plane let's go to here and choose plane and our first reference will be this new plane plane 4 and put the dimensions uh, 17 4 and confirm it and one more time create this 2d sketch and use this dimension to create this 2d sketch and we need to uh, put a relationship like the previous sketch okay now let's uh, unhide the previous sketch uh, sketch 9 uh, you have to put the relationship of coincident with this point of sketch and uh, the previous endpoint of the this sketch okay now let's uh, unhide the sketch number 8 and is it a sketch? Okay, we need to create uh, one more reference plane. Now let's go to the reference plane, choose plane. And our reference plane, first plane will be this plane 5. And put the dimensions of 48 and confirm it. And now let's go to plane 6 and right click to sketch. And let's go to uh, normal direction. And let's unhide the previous sketch. Uh, this sketch 2 okay now choose uh, convert entity and select this all curve and now confirm it okay we need to remove the uh, geometry relationship from this sketch and delete this geometry relationship Now let's use scale tool, uh, choose scale and uh, select all these curves. Okay, let's scale about uh, this point and use the scale fit of 0 0.19 and uh, remove the check mouse, come copy and confirm it. Now let's unhide the previous sketch. Now let's go to surface step and choose love surface and select all these profile. Now confirm the sketch. Okay, we got the surface we want. Now let's unhide this all profile. Now on the last plane, create this 2D organic shape again. Uh, this is a sketch on the last plane. Uh, the plane we create uh, this 2D sketch for the loft in. Uh, you have to uh, create this 2D sketch on that same plane. Okay, now let's uh, exit the sketch. Now let's create a new plane. Uh, choose plane. And our first reference will be the last plane. Uh, I mean this plane number 6. And let's put the distance of 134.6 and confirm it. And now right click on this plane 7 and choose number 2. And let's uh, hide this sketch. And now on this plane number 7, create this 2D organic shape. And I also use a supply tool and ask tool to make this sketch. You can use any tool you want. And I also use a outside real wall reference to make this sketch. Uh, you can modify this sketch if you want to. Or uh, you can just uh, use uh, this dimension to make this sketch. Okay, now let's uh, exit the sketch. Sorry, I have to put also some relationship on it. Uh, you have to put coincident relationship of this endpoint of sketch and the previous endpoint of uh, this sketch. I mean this point and this point must have a coincident relationship. Okay, now is this a sketch? Now we need to create one more plane. Go to reference geometry, choose plane. 
and our first reference will be uh, this new plane and let's put uh, dimensions of 130 inch and confirm it and now let's go to uh, this plane choose normal now on this plane number A create this 2D shape again I have provided dimension for you you can use it to make this sketch or uh, you can just modify this sketch if you want to and now let's A uh, is it a sketch Now let's unhide the previous sketch, right click and choose show and one more time, right click on uh, choose show. Okay, now let's create one more plane uh, for the circle and let's go to reference geometry and choose plane and our first reference will be this plane number 8 and put the distance of 109 and confirm it. And now let's go to this plane number 9 and choose circle and uh, create circle right uh, here and let's put dimension of 32.8 and confirm it and is it a sketch Okay, now let's go to surface tab and choose slow surface and select all this profile. Okay, now confirm it. Now one more time, let's go to Geometry Session and choose Plane. And our first reference will be the last plane, plane number 9. And put the distance of 8.7 and confirm it. Now let's go to plane number 13 and choose Geometry Profile. And go to Sketch and create a circle at the center. And let's uh, put the dimensions uh, about 49. And confirm it. Okay, we need to adjust the space a little bit. Uh, Slide this one and let's move it down uh, right here. Okay, now is it a sketch? One more time, let's go to Feature and choose the first plane. And our first plane will be this one. Now let's put the dimension distance of the 2 inch and confirm it. And again, uh, go to plane number 14 and uh, choose normal. And let's create a circle uh, at the center. And put a dimensions uh, about the damage uh, will be 34. And now is it a sketch? Now let's use a uh, login service one more time. And our first profile will be uh, this sketch. Uh, the circle on the tail side and the second sketch will be this one and that will be this one okay we need to move the control point and confirm it now let's hide this all plane And choose planar surface and click this H. And confirm it. And now let's combine all six surfaces together. Uh, use new surface. Select this face, uh, this face and this face. And confirm it. Okay, one more time, use the new surface, 
uh, click on this head and click on this body and confirm it and now on the plane number 4 create a 2d sketch i already provide a dimensions for you uh, you have to use this to make this sketch the plane number 4 is exactly the plane where we create this sketch number 9 uh, let me show you the sketch uh, right click and show it okay this is the sketch uh, we create this uh, sketch on the plane number 4 too now let's uh, hide the sketch now let's uh, is it the sketch and now let's create a reference plane uh, choose plane and our first uh, reference will be uh, plane number 4 uh, this one and let's put a distance of 17 4 okay and confirm it now let's get to the new plane uh, right click on it and choose sketch and let's uh, see from normal direction and now let's convert entity and choose this sketch and confirm it and now let's uh, remove geometry relationship from it and now let's use K2 and select all these curve and let's get about the uh, center uh, click right here and uncheck the copy our scale feta will be 1.13 and confirm it okay we need to uh, connect this line and right click and slash now is it a sketch Now let's create one more sketch. Uh, right click on this face and choose sketch. Uh, let's go to normal view. Okay, now uh, select convert entity. And select the sketch. And confirm it now let's remove relationship from this sketch now use K entity select all these sketch and uh, let's scale it our uh, scale uh, point will be uh, on this uh, mirror point and use scale feather of 1.08 okay that's nav and confirm it and is it a sketch and hide this plane and now let's uh, choose a uh, loft surface uh, let's select this profile this one, this one, and the last one is this one. Okay, now confirm it. Now let's create a one more reference plane. Now our first reference will be the right plane. And choose the distance, or put the distance of 45 inch. And reverse the direction and confirm it and now let's go to normal view and now on this new plane create this to the air fine shape uh, sketch uh, this sketch is for the wind of the airplane uh, I have already provided the dimensions for you please use this dimension to create this uh, cross section and just use supply tool to create this cross section and now let's uh, is this a sketch and hide this plane. Now let's go to the top view. And choose sketch. Uh, let's use a center line too. And let's make a center line from this point and create a horizontal line. And let's create one more line. Click here and uh, make an angle and create this line. Uh, we need to convert this line to the center line. 
and let's put the dimensions our angle will be uh, 53 and confirm it okay now let's uh, exit the sketch now let's create a reference plane uh, go to plane and our first reference will be this last plane plane with that in uh, now let's uh, flip the direction and the distance will be uh, 25 and confirm it and now let's go to the normal view now right click on it and choose sketch and choose convert entity and select this original supply and confirm it and now uh, remove this geometry relationship Okay, now let's go to the top view and we need to hide this uh, last plane, plane number 14. Okay, now let's uh, move this second sketch, select and move entity. Okay, click here and move right above this point. This point. Uh, we need to move one more time okay that's perfect now let's get rid of plane footing again select all this profile and choose K entity and our base point will be uh, right uh, here. Okay, and escape feta will be okay. Zero point is better, and now confirm it. Now let's create one more reference plane, and uh, is it a sketch? Choose plane and our first reference will be the last plane, plane number 14. And flip the direction. And the distance will be 125. And confirm it. And go to normal view. Now right click on this plane and choose sketch and click on convert entity and select this last sketch and confirm it. Now we need to remove the geometry relationship from this and delete this relationship and one more time delete this relationship and now let's go to the top plane and choose normal 2 and we need to hide this uh, last plane. Click on move under the and select this sketch and let's uh, move uh, from this point. Uh, we need to line up this point with this uh, construction line. Uh, click right here. Now let's go to the sketch uh, 34 and right click and choose normal and rotate the view. Now select this sketch and use K under the again. Let's scale it about right this point. Okay, let's scale it down about 0 0.23 and enter. Okay, we need to uh, increase the scale feather. And now confirm it. And is it a sketch? Now let's go to the right plane and right click on it and choose sketch. Again, choose color entity and let's let this first FI sketch. And again, confirm it. Okay, we need to uh, go to the this plane and let's remove the geometry relationship again.
And now to scale entity, select all these sketch and let's scale it about as center. Okay, we need to uh, increase this shape. So let's choose 1.1 1 .1 and enter. Okay, this look better and now confirm it. And is it the sketch? Now go to surface tab and choose love surface. First, let's love uh, this cross section and this cross section. And confirm it. And one more time. Let's choose this second cross section and choose love surface. And select this last cross section. And remove the control point. Okay, that's look good. And now confirm it. Okay, now choose this first cross section and choose love surface. And now choose this center cross section. Uh, move the control point. Okay, that's better. And now confirm it. Okay, we need to knit the surface. So choose knit surface and click this shape. Uh, this shape and this surface. And confirm it. Now let's go to feature and choose mirror. And our mirror plane will be uh, this right plane. And let's choose mirror body and click this surface and confirm it. Now we need to uh, trim the unnecessary surface, which is inside this uh, surface. Okay, let's uh, choose Mera, sorry, trim surface. And this time choose midway trim, select all these body. And now uh, choose keep selection. And our Selection will be this one, uh, this one, and this one, and now confirm it. Now let's modify this air entrance. Choose planar surface and select this loop. And confirm it. Okay, now right click on this face and choose normal. And rotate the view. Now right click and choose sketch. And uh, click on convert entity. Um, sorry. Uh, we need to select offset entity. And reverse the offset direction. Uh, let's offset 0 0.7. And confirm it. And now uh, go to surface tab and choose trim surface. Okay, our trim tool will be this sketch and let's remove this inside face and confirm it. Okay, now let's choose a uh, rule surface and select these edges. Okay, our distance will be 2.2. Uh, let's make it 2.5 and confirm it. And now one more time, choose planar surface, select this edge. Okay, now confirm it. Now right click on this face and choose normal again. Rotate the view. And on this surface, create this 2D uh, rectangle shape. I just use a uh, rectangle tool and array tool. Uh, now let's uh, go to surface tab and choose trim surface. Okay, our sketch tool, the mode trim tool will be uh, this triangular face. And now let's uh, choose uh, keep selection and uh, click on this uh, outer surface and now confirm it. 
Okay, uh, that's look great. Now let's use uh, next surface tool and click on the surface and confirm it. Okay, now we need to uh, mirror this air entrance. Let's go to feature and choose mirror. And our mirror plane will be uh, this right plane. And let's choose boring mirror and select this body and now confirm it. Okay, uh, look great.